Shed leakage can be a cause of wet litter, particularly during cold weather. Any leakage points in the shed can let warm air escape and cold air in, leading to higher energy costs and wet floors. Any air that enters the shed should be through inlet vents so that it can be conditioned to the internal air temperature before it reaches chicken level. This will help keep chickens warm and litter dry. When cool air enters the shed without being conditioned, it will fall directly to the floor. Moisture from the air will condense and go into the litter and the litter will not be able to dry out as quickly. Both of these issues will result in more water in the litter and possible caking problems. Known places where leakage can be a problem include fans, shutters, vents, doors, curtains and heating inlets. Telltale signs of leakage points are where sunlight is shining through. Close curtains tight and if still a problem, flaps to help seal them may be needed. Fans and doors can be sealed with fan covers and weather strips. Areas where gaps have formed can be sealed with gap filler. Dust accumulation around vents and doors may be an indicator of shed leakage in that area. Wet litter alongside walls may be an indication of air leakage, but could also be a sign of a groundwater seepage problem. If moisture is thought to be seeping up through the floor and into the litter, it may be due to external drainage, inadequate site preparation, or damage to the compacted clay floor. To address this issue, make sure the ground outside the shed slopes away from the walls. Ensure drainage between sheds is well maintained and not blocked with debris. Regularly performing a shed pressure test and sealing any leaks will improve the efficiency of the ventilation system, reduce energy costs and improve litter conditions. A low shed pressure may indicate a lot of leaks.